Step one, cutting. You're going to need both of your fabrics, the one yard piece and the half yard piece. The half yard is for the inside of your bag. It's also called the lining. And the one yard is for the outside of your bag. You'll also need some pins and some good scissors or shears to cut with. You're going to open up your inside piece all the way and then fold it so that the two pretty sides are inside. And if you open up the corner, you'll be able to see the two pretty sides. Then get pattern piece A, place it on top of your fabric as straight as you can and pin First the four corners and then two pins on each side. If you pin perpendicular to the seam or to the edge, it will be easier for you to cut. Now to cut it out, stand up and put your scissors perpendicular to the surface you are cutting on. Try to keep the blades as straight as you can without bending them to the side. It also helps to use the whole blade of the scissors rather than making short choppy strokes. Now you're ready to continue with your second fabric. You're going to do the same thing with piece A. You're going to pin it down and cut around it. The straighter you cut, the better your project will look. Once you get that done, you're going to remove the pattern. And if there's time left in class, you can cut out the next two pieces. Piece B is called a casing and that's where your strings will go. You want to check the direction to make sure that your characters or patterns on your fabric are facing the right way. You'll do the same thing for piece C, which is your pocket. I switched the direction because I want my characters to go up and down on the pocket and I'm going to pin it down and cut around it. Because we had our fabric folded in half, each time we cut, you will end up with two of the pieces. So first you cut two of the lining and then two of the main fabric two of B and two of C. And here they all are laid out. That's my main fabric. I have a body, a casing, and a pocket. And there's two of each. And then I have two linings. Please make sure you have everything cut before you go on to the next step. Now it's very easy to stay organized if you plan ahead. So I'm taking my scraps or things that I may not need right away and I'm gonna fold them up and I'm gonna put a little tie around them, just a scrap of fabric and that will help me keep them separate in my bag. 